Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. I have purple hair again. Do you like it? Just kidding. It's a wig. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to style a brand new wig in just a little bit. And I'm also going to show you how I got this makeup look. It is featuring this brand called Sam Marcel. Try it out. You know what I think. So let's just jump on into it. All right, so my hair today is from Eva Hair. I don't really know what I'm doing with my hair right now. Like, look how bad my roots are. I think that I am growing out because I just wear wigs so much anyway. I don't know. I'm, like, having a hair crisis. I also, like, can't afford it right now. So it is what it is. We're just leaving it for now. Eva Hair sent me this wig. They let me pick out which one I wanted and I chose this beautiful purple one because I don't want purple hair anymore and I was like I need to live the fantasy still. So this is a lace front. I'm going to show you like how to cut the lace off. I know you guys have seen it before but new wig. Let's just show it off. So this is how long it is. Pretty long. Beautiful. It's nice and soft and it comes with a wig cap in the box. I already have a wig cap out. Oh, I also, I'm going to film a wig collection video. So let me know down below if that interests you. I, I'm up to, I think, 16 wigs and I haven't shown some of them some love in quite a while. So I'm like, let's do a collection vid so I can see them on myself like now. And maybe that will make, make me want to wear them again. Also, I really want to name them all because I have so many and they're all like different styles and colors. Like, it'd be fun to like give them all names. <laughs> Putting this wig cap on. I also like these wig caps, the ones that have the opening back. Because you can just put it on like this and then just like shove your hair inside. When I wear wigs, like... Actually, I'm not gonna tell you because I'm gonna save that for the wig collection video. <laughs> you have to wait for all my tips and tricks and what I like to do and everything like that. I'm gonna pop on this wig. I'll leave all of the info down below for this. Oh, she's got a widow peak. When I was a kid, no lie, there's this one girl in school. Well, on my children's squad. If she ever watched this, it would probably be so embarrassing if she heard me say this. Her and her sister both had widow's peaks. And they are literally like the, the most beautiful girls ever. And they had widow's peaks. And I always wanted one because they had them. But it doesn't look the cutest on me. <laughs> I have a big forehead. Alright, so she's on. Let's get our scissors out. You can cut the lace off not on your head. That is the better way to do it. Because then you can see what you're actually doing. This is a very big lace as well. So you want to leave like, let's say like a quarter of an inch. So that side is done. I can't see. This is why you should cut it not on your head. Okay, it's off. All right, so I love this color. Oh, it makes me miss my purple hair. But now I never have to uh, miss my purple hair again because I have this purple wig. Get these combs in my head. Stuck on the lip. All right, so see how that comb just like brought it down on my head more? I am gonna brush it and style it. And you could totally like even pluck the widow's peak out. I might have to pluck a part in here. I 
I am going to pull some of this out. And then I'm going to add some concealer to the part. And there we go. We have a part. Yeah, uh, that's the wig. And if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so I have my base down already and the brows done. They are darker because I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm putting a wig on later and it's a dark wig and you guys will see. I just wanted to do like something more wearable. And I just got a couple things from this brand called Sam Marcel. So I was like, how about we try it out here? We got an eyeshadow palette, a liquid liner, mascara, and then like lipstick. So yeah, let's just get into it. This is what the palette looks like. It looks very pretty. It looks like it would be really good for someone that just likes like average makeup. Well, not average makeup, but like normal people makeup and not like crazy colorful makeup. So with this inlay with the shade names on it. So we'll just put that aside. And I'm not zooming in super close today because I've got tons of scabs around my eyes and they're not cute. So I don't want to make you have to stare at them the whole time. For my base, I used this brand new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. It's a very thin concealer, so we'll see how it works. And I just set it with a little bit of powder. All right, so let's start off with this bone color. Uh, it's called Creme de la Creme. And this is on a Sigma E40. I'm just gonna kind of place it up here. I'm switching brushes. That one was really stiff. I'm just gonna put it up here in like the brow bone upper crease area so we have a little bit of transition going on slash highlighting now we're going to pick up this shade which is called deja vu right here let's just do like a normal type look so i'm just gonna add this into the crease an outer V of the eye. And I'm just gonna take my fluffier brush and we're gonna make sure this is nice and blended. And I'm just gonna add more on this side. I've been wearing like a lot of like neutrals for like every day. I think that's like when you get older you want to kind of like start looking prettier or like normal instead of like crazy all the time. I'm not bashing anyone. Don't get me wrong. I love colorful makeup more than anyone. The older I get, I think the more pretty I want to look. I love colorful makeup, but then I also want to have like pretty glam days, if you know what I mean. But then again, I also feel pretty when I wear colorful makeup, so I guess I'm just not even making sense. <laughs> now, let's pick up, let's do a lid shade, and then I think I'm gonna go in and darken it up overall. Take this shade, this one's called Bijou, and I'm just gonna take that on my finger. And then let's, I'm going to take a brush like that and let's pick up this shade which is called risque and let's add it to the outer v and crease and let's go in and do some blending So now I'm going to, actually I think I'm going to add some of this shade to the lid as well. This one is called C'est La Vie. I'm going to add this to like the center of the lid. Just add a little bit more dimension. I'm going to add this liner. It's called the Luxurious Liner Waterproof Eyeliner. And it looks like it's a felt tip. Wow, very black. <laughs> I 
Oh, you see me mess up there. Sorry, it's okay that I messed up. I'm going to take another brush. And since I used a shimmer there, I'm going to layer that shimmer right on top. Yep, and it just covered it right up. But I am going to kind of like smoke this a little bit. So I'm just going to pick up a smudge brush from e.l.f. And then I'm going to take this shade Silhouette. And we're going to kind of smoke this out a bit. Pretty. Alright, I'm going to finish off the other eye. And then come right back. I've been going through this really fast, I feel like, and I've been wanting to talk, and I'm like, oh my god, just get the makeup done, and that's always my problem when I'm filming videos. I'm like, just get the freaking makeup done and don't talk, but I realize that, like, people want to be entertained while they watch YouTube, not just tutorials, so I'm sorry about that. I will try and talk more while I'm doing this. Let's start the lower lash line, and then we can talk a little bit more. Let's use this shade, and this is called Coquette. And I'm just using that on like a dome brush. Am I in focus? My camera's been being really weird. It's like not recognizing my face. Okay, so we're just blending that into the lower lash line. So, Wayne and I went to this castle the other weekend. Was it last weekend? I can't remember. It looked so cool online. Well, we actually went to two castles that day. We went to one. It's called, it's spelled like Broham, Broham, B-R-O-U-G-H-A-M, but it's, it's pronounced Broom, I think. I think that's what the lady said at the castle. I think she said it was, it was pronounced Broom. And that one was really cool. Um, it's kind of secluded and it, it's kind of like, not a lot, you can tell like not a lot of people visit it. It like doesn't even have its own parking lot. It says online like limited parking available it's literally just this little street parking and then it's like in a field where you can only walk like on the path because everywhere around it is like private property so we went there and the lady said that like be careful it's really dark in there um if you go inside you might want to use like a flashlight so we're like exploring all the little different parts and like dark and stuff so I like go into this one part and I'm like looking around the corner to see if there's stairs and then all of a sudden I hear like a ah and I jumped <laughs> it just scared me right now thinking about it I jumped so high oh my god and I screamed it freaked me out so much because I thought there were like ghosts or like random people in there but it was Wayne he was like on the outside of the castle and there was like a window and he like my god it was so scary i was like really scared anyway so it just like set me off so the whole rest of the time i'm like do not scare me but yeah that one was really cool so we were already up it's like in the penrith pen penrith area so while we were up there we we're like well why don't we try and go see another one because we like drove all the way up there i think it was like two hours two and a half hours up there so I looked, we started driving back, and then I found this one called Lothar Castle. It looked so epic online. So I was like, oh my god, no, we have to go to this one. So we drive, like, so far out of the way, because we had already passed it. Like, there, there's not that many exits on the road. So we had to go back, like, 15 minutes, and then another, I don't know, I think it took us, like, an extra half hour, 45 minutes to get there. So it looks super epic. We start walking up, and it's like, oh my god, wow, this castle is so cool. And it was, it was super cool, like, super epic looking. But we noticed, like, there were a lot of kids there. Didn't think anything of it. On the castle map, it says, like, there's gardens, and then there's woods. And, like, in the woods, there's a hidden castle. So we see the main castle, and we're like, alright, well, we want to go find the castle in the woods, like... It must be pretty cool if it's like hidden in the woods. So it takes us probably like 10 to 15 minutes to walk back there. Like it's down, it's pretty far away. Okay, so we walk back there. Lots of kids walking past us, like parents with kids. And we get back there and I was like, <laughs> it's literally like a wooden built jungle gym type like treehouse for kids. <laughs> 
so that they can be entertained at this castle and like there's like jungle gym and stuff and like all types of things for kids and stuff and Wayne and I look at each other and we're like you've got to be kidding me like we walked all the way out here and it's literally like something for kids and then we looked at each other again and we're like wow this is why everyone here has kids with them <laughs> and we just felt so stupid because like I mean how are we supposed to know but then again we should have realized when we walked up that there was like all like parents with kids there <sighs> it was a cool castle but I mean not worth it like we had the English heritage membership but we still you could get half off there I think or 20% off, half off, I can't remember. But it's still like, it wasn't worth it. Okay, so I'm taking this shade now. It's called A La Mode. I'm gonna highlight the inner corner. One thing you guys should know about me is I love castles. And I love like adventuring to them. Uh, it's just like something that I'm really, really into. Now I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Encore. And I'm just going to place it like right here. Okay, so I really like that. Pretty good. I need to put some color in my waterline. This Milani one. This is the Metallic Lights Brown Burst Oil Liner. I really like these. They're like really creamy. And I also think like I need like a little bit more darkness right there. So actually let's pick up Risque again, which is... That one there let's just darken this up so yeah we have fun adventuring to castles and stuff i love it it makes me so happy that he like loves taking me and stuff wayne's the best he's so sweet i need to brighten up my under eyes because they're looking pretty dark right now i take my kat von d shade and light contour palette and i usually mix together the, these two light shades and i just pack this on under my eyes and it like brightens them up so much. I think that that concealer, this one, it's really quite thin and I'm not sure if it gives all that much coverage. They also sent me a mascara so let's check that out. Feels like really heavy. I'm gonna give these a curl because my eyelashes are so straight but this doesn't really help in the long run anyway because they just go back straight. It's like no matter how much I curl them, they just go back straight. It's so annoying. I'm literally so jealous of everyone with like curly eyelashes. It's all I want in this world. So here's what the brush looks like. Honestly, so, like mascara is never something that I've like, ever been passionate about because my eyelashes are so straight uh, that I really just don't care too much about mascara. It's kind of like I just have to put it on. However, I hate when they, when the mascara like stays on my eyelashes forever and I have to like pick it off and then I end up pulling all my eyelashes out. It's so annoying. Like I wish I could be one of those people that just like throws on mascara and goes about their day not having to put falsies on like why can't that be me all right so it looks pretty good i'm not getting any red flags from it i am going to pop on falsies as well so i'm just gonna go put mascara on this side and then let's pop on some lashes Okay, so here are the eyes done. I like that. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to do the rest of my face. The past couple weeks, we also went to Edinburgh. Follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you saw. We went like the weekend before New Year's Eve. Like what, the 28th or 29th? We left on New Year's Eve because we had to get back. But we were able to... Uh, participate in the first night of Hogmanay. So Hogmanay is uh, Scotland's New Year. It's just what they call it. So night one they have this torchlight procession and like legit torches like three feet tall and you light them on fire. <laughs> At first I was like oh my god we're gonna do what? 
So we only got one torch because I was like, do not want to be responsible for lighting someone on fire. We only got one torch. Wayne, Wayne carried it. And it was actually like such a beautiful moment. It was so peaceful and just like, I mean, they were saying like people were there from all over the world and like to just see everyone coming together it was just really beautiful and like when i was telling my parents they're like you did what they're like and no one was trying to like set each other on fire i'm like no it was really beautiful and, like such a special moment we also went to the kelpies it's like these giant horse heads and i think we did we did that on the way back they're really epic but it was freezing oh my god we probably only stayed there for like 20 minutes so let's do some blush this one it's from i done minerals and it's just a pretty neutral shade the shade is called half thorn and it's really beautiful blush just gives you a little little something it's really pretty i'd love to know what you guys did over the holidays uh let me know down in the comments below and we're just bouncing over that with my sponge just to make sure it's blended now for highlight i did have a highlight palette from them as well but i can't seem to locate it so i'm going to use the eyeshadow palette we just used to take the color i used on my inner corner on like a bigger brush and apply that oh that looks really pretty Ooh. So then for lips, I have this lipstick from them. It's called Belle. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty pink shade. I think I'm gonna have to put some liner with it. Oh, it's very pink. And it's pretty, but it doesn't really go with this look, in my opinion. Let me add some liner. Let's add some of MAC Whirl Pencil. I'm definitely liking the way this looks better. It just like knocks it back a little bit neutral to be like more of a neutral pink than that right I think. All right, so I want to add a gloss. So let's add this one because it's a little bit more peachy. Uh, this one is called Sunscape from ABH. Like I love this lip, but maybe not with these eyes. So let's just add this. Ooh, that looks pretty. I have been so into gloss lately, which is kind of strange because I never really liked it. Well, I guess like the past few, year, few years, like I didn't really like it. And I think that's because I couldn't figure out my lip shape. So now that I kind of have like my fake lip shape down, that I like it better. Cute. Yeah, I like that better. All right, so now that the face is done, we got to put some hair on. So you will see it in three, two, one. Alright guys, you saw this in the beginning. This is the hair. I love it. Like I said before, everything will be listed down below. Don't forget to check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, let me know what you guys will see next down in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.